Yes, wonderful Saturday, top of the moment to you once again. How na day? I believe so na day, okay? few minutes ago, we did talk as a Dr. Bad Goodyear around the corner to consensitize us on things we get to do with health, that is, health related issues. Yes, and most definitely, the doctor is around. <laughs> my name na Chief Olodudu. Once again, I'm my partner in Tokyo. <laughs> yes, Chief, good morning. Feels good, good, good to be here yeah, good again. Good morning, Chief. Slimy, good yes, morning. Yes, doctor, good You're morning. You're looking sweet, as Thank always. You. <laughs> good morning, guys. Yeah, good morning, viewers at home and around the world. Thank you very much. You look, you look Dr. Bad looks like Thank the groom, much, sir. Thank like you, the, I'm telling you, you look like the groom, oh. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> this morning, we'll be looking at a topic we started some few weeks ago, coronavirus. <laughs> Some may be wondering, why are we still on this we have to. coronavirus? We have to. <laughs> yeah, the papers today. We have to. Mm. You will hear a lot of reasons why it is difficult for us to actually leave this topic at this time. In the last couple of days, the Director General of WHO, in the person of Tedros Adhanom mm. Ghebreyesus, was asked, is the world at a tipping point with respect to outbreak of coronavirus? And this is what he has to say, that the window opportunity is narrowing that the world has to actually term this scourge is narrowing by the day. And that raises a lot of concerns. As we speak this morning, all over the world, we we'll see flurry of cases mm. in the Middle East, in Europe, in America, and in some other parts of the world. Like we were, the one you talked about last week? Yes. The EG. Currently, there are about 76,288 cases of confirmed cases in mainland China mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All other parts of the world have uh, over 8,200 confirmed cases, giving us a total of over 77,500 cases or oh. more. Or oh, more <laughs> that we are currently battling with. Is that or more? Ah, yes. In the last couple of days, too, the uh, northern city of Italy, Lombardy, to be precise, witnessed a flurry of cases, and among the uh, the people that tested positive were about five medical doctors who were said to have frequent uh, frequented a particular bar mm. in that city. Mm. So that city, the authorities in that city has actually placed a ban mm -hmm. on public gathering in the northern city of wow. Italy. Also, in the last few days, we also, Iran, for instance, witnessed additional two new deaths, bringing a total of four deaths in Iran. And the countries around them have tried to do what? Block their borders. Mm -hmm. Kuwait, for instance, has banned flights in and out of Kuwait to Iran, meaning that you can't travel from, Ir uh, from, from Iran, Iran to, to Kuwait, Kuwait anymore. Kuwait to Iran. Yes. And also, Iraq, their closed-door neighbor, equally did the same. Okay. But they said their own is on a temporary basis for now. So with this comes economic downturn for yeah, any sure. country of the world yeah. that is affected. Yeah. The picture is looking scary. But I must be honest with you. The sad truth is that the world at the moment does not have an answer to this scourge. U.S. alone has about 34 cases. And these numbers are expected to rise because about two th two, uh, 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 10 people that tested positive that were among the evacuees from Diamond Princess, the cruise ship that had about over 600 people testing positive in the last one month, that were returned in the U.S. Among the people that, the evacuees that came back to the U.S., there were still 10 people that they were about to confirm, adjudicate their results. That was the word they used. I also want to point out that as we speak also, I want to read this out here. This is from Al Jazeera. Only three U.S. states can test for coronavirus. Public lab group. And these states are California, Nebraska and Illinois are the yeah. only states that can currently test for coronavirus. The Association of Public Health Laboratories, APHL, told Reuters News Agency. The U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention last week said 
some of the testing kits that were sent to some U.S. states and that were sent to at least 30 countries of the world produced inconclusive results <laughs> due to a flawed component. And the CDC planned to send replacement materials to make the kits work. Doctor, why has it not been accurate? Because, like, uh, the case... No, why are you laughing, doctor? Like I'm the case not of, laughing. <laughs> like, the case of that... It's worrisome. It's worrisome. Like, yes, the case should of... Have the, mm. They should have, like... Uh, they should have... They have the, the money, they have the, the space, the they have everything. Is, yeah. But uh, that's not where, I, where I'm even going to. I'm talking about the... Uh, I think it was that you treated that case of um, it, it surfacing in Africa. Yes, the Egyptian Egypt, case. Egypt, to be yes, precise. Yes. But now, I heard information that it came out negative yes. and all of that. Even so, without the treatment. The, the foreigner who was said to have brought it into Africa, talking mm. about the case, the confirmed case that we were told in Egypt, mm. has now tested negative. Ow. Wow. Ow. It wasn't that the man got cured. You can happened? only the test. He the, told us the, 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 te the test, the initial test, probably was inaccurate, mm. and so that is. So was it more of a guesswork? It's not more of a guesswork, but it's just that there are a lot that are still just not like known. HIV test. Yes, you have to yes. test in two, three other <laughs> yeah, places. Before you can be confirmed. <laughs> and Even in, uh, uh, still along that line, on Friday, the initial figures that were uh, released. The new confirmed cases that were released in China were about 300 and something. Much later, they made a correction that it was actually 700 and something. Okay, so by Friday, uh, as of Friday, China had about uh, seven, seven, eight new cases. Okay, but the uh, 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 by this morning it has dropped. Oh. Okay, now their ne next door neighbor is South Korea. Okay. They currently have about. 346 confirmed cases. Mm. So it's spreading, it's spreading like a no, wide no, fire. Spreading, yeah. It's at the early stage of pandemic. Sure. And if not pandemic yet. If nations of the world with uh, strong health infrastructures are having these challenges, mm. what will happen to the nations of the world with weaker health in infrastructures? Hey. Okay, so that's the question that we agitate no. everybody's mind at this point. No. Okay, so <laughs> we are not spraying, we are talking. Now, <laughs> to go back to the disease, coronavirus is a new strain of uh, a virus that has not been previously identified in humans. COVID-19. Yes, officially named COVID-19 or COVID-19 or new coronavirus, NCOV, and 2019, NCOV. <laughs> Mm. The world saw two virulent strains before now of coronaviruses. Talking about SARS coronavirus that, that we saw in the year 2002 and 2003 that also emanated from China. Of course, it affected and killed a number of people, but not up to a thousand. In 2002, of two, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, mass coronavirus, also came out and killed quite a number of people. And here we are today with another strain of coronavirus. Mm. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that predominantly affect animals. Mm -hmm. Only a few of them affect humans until the newest of them all that we are currently battling with to see how the world can contain this disease. How are these transmitted from one individual to the other. We all know the story that the epicenter was said to be city of Wuhan in China, in Hubei province. It was said to have started towards the end of last year, December, in a seafood market that was mm -hmm. illegally dealing in livestock. That was the epicenter. That's and, why? Yes, where it all started. Okay, and as we speak, it has affected no about 77, over 77,000 thousands across oh, the globe, yeah. with majority of them in mainland China, 76,288, causing about, in China alone, 2,345 deaths as of this morning, as of three hours <laughs> ago. You have a question, sir? Doctor, yes, I actually, that's what I'm working on here. Mm. I actually, uh, a friend of mine just did a master's in clinical psychology, that's 
to tell us that medicine is not even about drugs, drugs, drugs alone. There are some aspects of medicine too that has to do with uh, there's political medicine and everything. What I'm trying to say in essence here is I won't let you go unless I talk about what has been going on, what has been flying. Is it the chloroquine? <laughs> not the chloroquine now. I mean uh, the issue of the book, a book that was talked about, uh, which I want to consider the which I want to consider the um, literary aspect of medicine now. Mm -hmm. I know if we don't talk about this, a lot of people might feel, do they really know what they are doing? And if we talk about it, yes, that's Dean Cloyne's book that, that they actually mentioned in some pages of the book. I think I have it here, The Eyes of Darkness, that they mentioned in some pages of the book how it will happen in why, how, in fact... Was it, it why they mentioned? Yes, why. This no. is one four hundred. This okay. is the book. Sir. Okay, go ahead. One four hundred, and okay. this book has been released since nineteen eighty two, mm -hmm. and a lot of things that they said about date of published nineteen eighty two. Now, the same name they call it is what we see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So should should you should you describe that as a prophecy? I I, I would not even because we saw <laughs> the that. The of the book must be a prophecy. No no no. <laughs> we, if we want to talk about prophecy, we we'll talk about Nestor and Demos who has made a lot of predictions. But this one now is a literary work. Mm -hmm. Question now. Doc, do we feel most of this SARS, most of this um, COVID-19, do we feel most of them are out of human error? Let me play safe. Do you think they are caused by human error or some scientific flaw? We've seen where some computer students actually create some, they deliberately create some virus mm -hmm. and send it around mm -hmm. and produce the antivirus so that mm -hmm. people can buy. Mm -hmm. You know where I'm going. Uh, 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 thank you very much. Uh, on a very se uh, serious note, I must acknowledge that we, are, we know about bio warfare hmm. across the globe. Bio warfare. Yes. Now, along that same line, I want to say, let me start from the verifiable ones that I can actually quote or talk about. Okay? Smallpox has been eradicated over 40 years ago. But as we speak, you can't find the virus that causes smallpox in the natural world. Mm. That is a fact. But there exists smallpox in two separate laboratories mm. in the world as of this moment. Mm. One is in the US, another one is in Russia. And people have uh, uh, advocated that those the, the, that lab that is still keeping that small pulse should find a way of destroying it. Mm. And I, as we speak, they have not been destroyed. Mm. Bio warfare. And smallpox killed when it came, it ravaged a whole a lot of countries of the world that it killed it, it killed up to 50 million people, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I would say. Okay, so but that is not to say that I've not heard about a number of consp conspiracy theories surrounding this disease. But all of them have been scientifically debunked. Mm. That's why I started with the one. Uh, you remember some time ago, some few years ago, we saw the anthrax powder that were being sent in an envelope and be posted to people and all that. Yeah. Those are examples of such things. Mm. Okay, we can't uh, shy away from the fact that such exists. Okay, so what if a human gets accidentally inoculated with that small pot that is being preserved? Of course, it could start causing havoc again. again. That is not to say that I'm supporting what the book has said. Mm. Okay, this the scientific world has come out to debunk all of these conspiracy theories that it must have been a man made error, <laughs> but that speculation still exists mm. globally. Thank you very much. Again, anyway. mm. I think okay. it's safe for us. Should we just go for the break? Let's just go for the break because <laughs> this is really getting interesting and deep. So let's go on this break. When we come back, we'll open the phone lines. You tell us how far so far with coronavirus, how have you been preventing or making sure, say, you know, happen for your own area? Because now all of our duties. Yes, sure. Okay, let's go on this break. We'll be right back. Health matter na serious matter. Oh. That now why we they always get Dr. Bat Ufe Guna every Saturday to come teach us and enlighten us on top with health matter. You fit also advertise your product and services on top with show where they help like people. Terms and conditions apply, Shao. Hello, Lagosians. My name is Aki Ambayomi. I'm the Commissioner of Health for Lagos. 
I'm here to tell you about this new infection that's going around the world. It's called the coronavirus. It emanated in China. It came from the animal kingdom. It has affected 17 countries. About 4,590 patients have, have been affected with about 106 deaths to date. It has typical symptoms, headache, running nose, cough, sore throat, muscle ache, high fever, difficulty breathing, pneumonia perhaps. And if you feel that you are experiencing any of these symptoms and you've had a contact either by virtue of travel to Southeast Asia or people that have come from Southeast Asia, we would like you to present to one of our general hospitals. Here in Lagos, we're ramping up our capacity. Our general hospitals are getting more in tune with this situation. We're increasing our surveillance at the airports. We're building our emergency operations center where we can harmonize our response to this infection. Please, Lagosians, take this situation seriously and contact any of the numbers that we're going to display on the screen for you. This message is from the Lagos State Ministry of Health. So coronaviruses are a family of viruses um, that range from the common cold to MERS coronavirus, which is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, and SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus. Coronaviruses are circulating in animals, and some of these coronaviruses have the capability of transmitting between animals and humans. We call that a spillover event. So coronaviruses typically cause respiratory symptoms, so uh, we recommend uh, basic hand hygiene, such as washing your hands with soap and water, and respiratory hygiene, uh, such as when you sneeze, sneezing into your elbow. Ways to protect yourself against a potential animal source uh, would be to avoid unnecessary, unprotected contact with live animals um, and to make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly after contact with an animal and also to make sure that your meat is cooked thoroughly before consuming. There are no specific treatments for coronaviruses, but symptoms can be treated. Welcome back to the show, Ed Matt and I host today do, and uh, with Dr. Day here, where they sensitize us on top coronavirus. Where we did last week, nobody there will do this <laughs> week, because as at last week, we were much more scared about the fact that an Egyptian actually caught up with uh, COVID-19, what we they call coronavirus. But uh, doctor has been here today to still give us another fresh uh, breath it's relieving, really <laughs> shocking uh, news, say, uh, demand been tested negative. negative. So if you ask us, this is a good one. Yeah. And so we can say there's no coronavirus in Africa for now. Yes. So <laughs> it's a good one. Slimmy, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so guys, uh, let's open the phone lines. Feel free to ask your questions. Like me, I was already asking Dr. Why wait on that break, and he's going to answer because I'll ask him again. Okay, so 08105434984, 08175314984. Nine. Then, doctor, please, before we go on, I have to beg my Yoruba people. This thing is not Corolla virus. <laughs> you can imagine somebody calling me on this thing. I Only Corolla, then, so what? I say going to Corolla virus. Corona, <laughs> nah. No, I have to beg my Yoruba people, please. Eh? It's Corona. Yeah. Uh, well, um, um, thank you very much. Thank you very much for opening the phone lines. Okay. So, is this uh, Truly, truly, um, the way I look at the whole episode, mm. I think. The whole of Africa, we shouldn't just be jubilating that it's not yet in Africa, okay, because it surely will get here. We're not ah, crazy. No, 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 doctor, it doctor. surely will not get here. Uh, yeah. It money. surely will not get here, uh, doctor. We, we are not praying it does. But anyways, we are not praying it does. Mm. But look at all the countries around us that Nigerians visit on daily basis. Mm. And UAE, everywhere. Dubai, mm. we all go United to Dubai. United Arab Emirates. Yes, they have their cases now. Mm. Look at Italy. In one single day, 16 new cases were recorded in the northern, uh, northern part of Italy, okay? So the countries of the world, what, what I think we should be channeling our energy is to use this window of opportunity so, that is narrowing mm. to do what we need to do. What do we need to do? To put in place measures 
Okay? As we speak now, a number of countries of the world have legal framework, okay, to, to do a mandatory quarantine for anybody that has a travel history to any of those areas. For 14 days. If I for 14 days. Those are the things that we should expect to see our policymakers, okay? They should be at their best. What we can do is to strengthen our borders, <laughs> our ports, okay? I can tell you that the most frightening dimension to it is the so-called asymptomatic carriers, yeah. okay? Yeah, now, we'll have it, but it yes, show. yes. Uh, just some few days ago, someone traveled from Wuhan, a 20-year-old lady traveled from Wuhan to a city in China that is called Anyang, okay? She was asymptomatic at the time she traveled, only to get there and infected mm. five of her relations. Why those ones were presenting with symptoms, she wasn't still presenting <laughs> with symptoms Can until much later. Okay, so the, the, the WHO Director General said the, the worrisome aspect is the fact that we are beginning to see cases in areas that did not have a mm. direct connection with the cases that we saw in Wuhan. So what we need to do is to be proactive. And I'm happy Lagos State Government, yes. the federal government, the CDC in Nigeria are doing exactly that. Countries with weaker health systems should look at what those ones with the so-called strong health systems are, the, the challenges on their hands. Look at the, the billions are voting. Okay, the richest man in China recently donated billions of dollars. Uh, mm. uh, Bill Gates, too, yes, recently I donated billions of dollars. Yes, I saw Bill Gates. About a hundred million billion dollars or whatever in the fight. Hundred million or so, I'm not so sure of the figure, in the fight against coronavirus. Okay? Uh, uh, Qatar Air sponsored some relief materials, medical consumables, that they took to, to China. A number of help are coming from a number of places. So what we need to do is to strengthen our borders, put in place what we need to put in place, okay? Not just uh, be jubilant that it hasn't, gotten to, it hasn't yet gotten to Africa. If it does, what will be our response? That is a question I want I know, us to, I be, I want us to answer. Also, yes, what will be our response? Speaking yes. for Lagos, at least we know that uh, measures are on ground already. I say I have a bit of information on that. But, Dr. Now, I need you to either debunk or affirm these speculations that have been ongoing for the past one week. The papers actually still said something on that today, and that is on fluoroquine. Is it, I don't know, is, is it still a guesswork or it's been affirmed that it's an antidote to the virus? Thank you very much for pointing that out. I, I read the, the, uh, the work, mm. okay, along that line. Mm. But before, before I answer the question, I also want to say that in as much as we have said some of these things mm. are like this, are like mm. that, I also want to point out that a good number of people have actually survived this coronavirus. Mm. One of them is a Cameroonian who is a student in Wuhan, okay, an African, he survived. Apart from him, about 18,000 over 18,000 people have actually survived coronavirus in China. It is a viral infection. Oftentimes, it could be self-limiting. Mm. It doesn't, the, uh, 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 the case fatality rate is said to be about 2.3 or thereabout. Okay, so it's not everybody that picks up the infection that it kills at the end of the day. Okay, at the same time, the human-to-human -human transmission has also been proven to be possible. Mm. Okay. There are a lot of efforts. Trial of vac trials with vaccines will commence in the next few weeks to few months. Oh. Okay? So the world is not just folding her hands Swallow and watch as the scotch mm -hmm. travel from one country to the other, killing thousands now. Okay? So there are a lot of efforts ongoing at any level. There have, there have also been, uh, 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 in one country, I think in Philippines or so, they use antiretroviral HIV drugs on some people that had it, and of course, they got good results. <laughs> okay, so chloroquine, too, is one of the uh, new, uh, not a new drug, so to say, but That's some good. promising results are coming from that angle. Okay, but we are not yet there at the moment. That's what we are saying. Okay, but what can we do in the interim? Even as all of these uh, research efforts are ongoing to develop a vaccine, to find a cure, 
and all what not. Or can we even say we can start building our own beds too now? Because I don't know. I you shouldn't don't, wait for it to get here, to, right? If China can build their 10,000 bed uh, hospital in a few days, because we know those ones are Those ones are not enough. <laughs> if China could be getting as high as 800 new cases in one day, they built a hospital of about 1,000 bed under 10 days. I want to believe the capacity must have been. They are currently no, using case. stadiums. Hmm. They are currently using stadiums, cinema centers. No, they are putting beds, makeshift hospitals to tackle this disease. Hospitals. Just look at a case of that uh, cruise ship, Diamond Princess, that had about 3,700 passengers hmm. that docked at Japan, Yokohama, the city of Yokohama. Over 600 people have tested positive hmm. from that cruise ship alone. A number of countries of the world have evacuated their citizens from that cruise ship. Okay, in the U.S., the, the, uh, uh, the Washington Post talked about the uh, disagreement that they had with the when they came to evacuate U.S. citizens. Okay, the, the argument was it's not wise transporting people who have tested positive with people who were not who haven't tested positive in the same aircraft. Okay, but. <clears throat> Those are some of the things that are currently happening that, of course, can expose us, that can expose people to more risk. Also, the evacuees that were brought back to, um, um, is in Ukraine now, they, 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 they were a, a number of protests. People were clashing with the police, okay? They don't want them to be brought anywhere close to them. The infected people that were evacuated or the exposed people that were evacuated from that cruise ship. And of course, the health minister of that country has to identify with those people and offered, she offered to be quarantined for 14 days with them. Mm -hmm. And she is currently doing her work mm -hmm. via Skype mm -hmm. and a number of other... Mm -hmm. uh, 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 to reduce stigmatization. Yes. Yeah, yeah, to reduce stig uh, stigmatization. But it's affecting economies, it's affecting mm -hmm. economies on a global scale. Okay? So not just... The, the, so the, the, the economic impact is actually what affects, what will affect a number of nations the more. Because yeah, once any country is identified to have it, okay, we'll we have, have Yusuf it. from Nasarawa. Good morning, Yusuf. Good morning, Yusuf. You yeah. need to turn down Hello. the volume on your TV set. Good morning, please. Mr. Yusuf. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, my brother. Uh, okay. Good morning. How are you doing today? We are, we are fine. doing fine, sir. Hello? Hello? Hello, we can hear you, but you need to turn down the uh, volume of your please, TV. Please, I just wanted to ask, how do we prevent this coronavirus? Thank you very much, sir. How mm. do we prevent this coronavirus, sir? Thank you very much. We'll talk about the prevention, methods of prevention shortly. Thank you, Yusuf. Thank you very much, sir. Now, the, the, the ways to prevent the coronavirus, for me, is to ensure that it doesn't get into our, our country. Okay? We need to strengthen our borders. borders. Our post of entries, okay, which we are currently doing at the moment. Beyond all that, we also need to make provisions for people that will come in from those Nigerians that may be coming back from those countries with no risk for exposure, so that we could have a place where we could keep them for the mandatory quarantine before they get into mm. them, before they are allowed mm. into the society. Not the idea of asking anybody to self-quarantine. Mm. Okay, all of those things are the ones that need to be done at a national level. But as an individual, if you have anybody around you, we have seen some of the symptoms, which include runny nose. Cough, sneezing, yes, uh, uh, sneezing, diarrhea. Uh, uh, yes, of course, there are, there are in some people, uh, viral pneumonia. If you see anybody that is presenting with cough and other respiratory symptoms, you need to prevent yourself from getting Sorry. in contact with Let, such a person. Let's take Abdul. Good morning, Abdul. Good morning, sir. How is Kogi this morning? Uh, we thank God. Our dog is here. The doc is here. Go on with your question. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah we can on. hear you, sir. I thank God for enlightening us for this uh, corona virus. What, thank you, sir. What can we do for, to uh, prevent it? 
Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. What we can do to prevent it is number one. Anybody around us that is presenting with some of the symptoms that we mentioned. Also, if the, such a person has a history of having traveled to some of these countries of the world, okay, if the person is coming back from a country like China, you need to ensure, I, I don't want to say that you don't get in contact, you don't get in mm -hmm. touch with such a person, okay, but anybody who is presenting with uh, some of the symptoms we have mentioned, respiratory symptoms generally, coughing, sneezing, fever, okay, they are displayed on our screen, rapid chest heartbeat. pain, rapid heartbeat, of course, breathing, breathing difficulties. You should stay away from such people. Ensure that such a person gets to the hospital. Okay, okay? let's take Mustafa. Good morning, Mustafa. <laughs> Mustafa, good morning. Good morning. How is Zaria this morning? He gone. Uh, sorry, Ego. sorry we missed it. Ego. Now, what, uh, what you can do as an individual is to develop the, ha the, uh, uh, the develop good hand washing hygiene, yes, usually under running water. It works with coronavirus. Yes, too. yes. You need to. That is only for Lassa. Uh, no, 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 no. For, of course, they are, they are all viral infections. Mm. Okay, so when you're sneezing, when you're in an, in an environment where you were unable to wash your, you probably get water to wash your hand. You can use an yeah, alcohol yeah, based sanitizer mm -hmm. to sanitize your hand. If you have cough and you want to cough or sneeze in the public, please use a tissue that you can easily dispose or trash mm -hmm. afterwards. Don't use handkerchief because if you use it, you have to still return it, mm -hmm. put it in your pocket. And by the time you touch it for a multiple number of times, somebody could come around you and you could have to extend yeah. your hand for a handshake and then you're transferred. Now, avoid touching, picking your nose with your hands. Picking your eyes with your hands. Those are the things you can do at a personal level. We can see that some of these countries of the world where it already exists, they usually wear face masks. And we are told that face masks cannot do so much to prevent people, but at least it can help. Because when someone has a face mask and is sneezing, Ademola from Lagos. Good morning. Ademola, good morning. Hello. Yeah, good day? morning. Hi there, Demola. Demola, you good need, morning. To, uh, you good need morning. to turn down the volume on your TV set, please. Good morning. Yeah, good, good morning, morning brother. Because of the coronavirus. Yes. What did you say? What did because you say? Because of coronavirus. See, did you say features? Hello? Symptoms, symptoms or features? Obviously, he's a biology student. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> student of biology. Uh, uh, you know, secondary uh, school biology. We, 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 I'm not sure like we got student, you, okay. but if I you're talking about symptoms, symptoms that's what we are features. dealing with at the moment. Okay? And then avoid contact with, um, avoid contact with live animals mm. as much, unprotective contact with live animals as much as possible because there's speculation that it, Mustafa is from Zara. Okay, Mustafa is back. Oh, can, could you turn down your volume, Mustafa? No, this time now. now turn it down. Turn it down. It's down. Okay, go on. Go, go ahead, sir. Okay, good morning. Good, good morning, morning, sir. Once more. Yeah, the, the issue of coronavirus, I think it's supposed to be a teamwork between every Nigeria but the politician and the government. Not especially the medical personnel. The medical personnel should equally be dispatched to the Nigerian border so that they can work hand in hand with the system and the immigration. To check the, so that they can check those crossing over Nigeria, not only by here, because our borders are porous. So everybody can cross. So the medical personnel and the uh, law enforcement agents at the border can, can help in treating this virus. Thank you. Thank you very much for that wonderful contribution. Thank you very much. You spoke my mind, sir. Thank you, Mustafa. Mm. Thank you very you, much. I remember mm. earlier you've talked about mm. our port of entries. Mm. Yes. Our borders, mm. the mm. poorest uh, mm. attitude, or let me yeah. say the cadetical like attitude. Mm. Anybody can come in, go out. Mm. Especially in some uh, uh, some parts of, uh, of of the country mm. where we have thrown, in, uh, thrown open our borders. I think that shouldn't be, if at all, there's an element of truth 
in that story. Okay, I think that shouldn't be because people need to be properly screened. Yeah. Granted that a number of people may come in without symptoms, yeah. but at least we need to do the ABC day we can, mm. okay, as people to help ourselves. The, the, the extent that China has gone is that they are beginning to destroy oh, currencies. Okay, currencies that have moved from hands to hands mm. in Wuhan and some other cities that are beginning to destroy some mm. currencies and, of course, print new ones. Mm. Mohammed from Oshun. Mohammed, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yes, Mohammed, you need to turn down the volume of your TV set. Good morning, Mohammed. Uh, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Mohammed, you need to move away from uh, where you are. The noise here is too much. Yeah, please, I want to confirm the truth of the assertion that uh, coronavirus does not affect Africans or black people. Is it true? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I hope it's true myself. Okay, but there is no scientific evidence to support that. I think the news came out when a Cameroonian uh, who was a student in China, in Wuhan, okay, he picked up the infection and graciously he got cured, mm. okay? And of course, the doctors who handled this case said that, who knows, that maybe, just maybe, there's some things in blacks, in, uh, uh, in blacks that can actually uh, prevent them from picking up the infection. <laughs> but as we speak, <laughs> there is no scientific uh, theory or scientific mm -hmm. evidence to support that, okay? There's no scientific evidence to support that. These are what we have in Egypt. Egypt. Now that <laughs> in fact, the, 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 the case in Egypt was said to be a foreigner. It wasn't even a, an, an Egyptian per se. Wow. Okay, so it was said to be a foreigner, okay? Okay, hold on that. Um, okay, this is Mishak from good morning. Nasarawa. Good morning, Mishak. Uh, good morning, sir. Yeah, How you good did? morning. Good morning, sir. Okay, please go on with your uh, questions or considerations. Uh, this coronavirus is coming mostly from a uh, uh, rat, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, no, Lassa fever is the one that comes right. from rats. That one has been with us for about 50 years, <laughs> okay? Now, uh, what you just said to could also be true, okay, but we haven't gotten any evidence that it's... It is from animal. It is from animal is kingdom. From bats? bats. Yes. Speculation, Speculation is that it is from bats. Some people have also spe speculated it could be from snake. But the scientific evidence supports more of bats. Okay, okay. I understand, sir. But uh -huh. sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I didn't cut you wrong. Yeah, thank you very much. The Bible, the Bible says that uh, all animals are clean. They are not unclean. I wonder how animals bring sickness to people this nowadays. I don't know why. Yeah. Over the years, we have seen plenty of that. That's why we, uh, are called, those group of diseases are called zoonosis or zoonotic diseases, diseases that can be picked by from humans animals. from animals. Okay, so we've seen a number of that in time past. Lassa fever is a good example, okay? It's picked from rats. There's also person-to-person -person transmission of Lassa fever. Of course, we, we should know more about Lassa fever because it has been with us yeah. for years now, for decades, not just years. Mm. Mm, now, okay. so back to the symptoms. Okay, we have mentioned the typical symptoms that people who have coronavirus could present with. Top on the list is fever, runny nose, cough, uh, respiratory difficulties. Okay, if you have anybody who is presenting with these symptoms, please ensure that this person gets to the hospital. And when he gets to the hospital, the doctors will take it off from there. Okay, if, if, if it's not coronavirus, it could be any other disease. Okay, so what we're advising us to do is to make sure that you, you keep and maintain a healthy hygiene in and around you. Okay. Thank Dr. you very Bart, much. On that, that note, we want to say a very big thank you thank to you all our viewers. Goodbye, everyone.